The animals have returned to trash this camp. I'm Megabucks. And I go by Tycoon, except during my day job. On today's episode of Disney Meet the Parents, we focus on Tarzan and Jane. Yeah, this is a disaster waiting to happen if I ever saw one. Jane, Tarzan, Archimedes Q. Porter, and Kala have the only interspecies family dynamic in the entire Disney universe. And for those of you wondering about Ariel and Eric's relationship, it doesn't count, because Ariel's entire family is half-human, so at least they have some common ground. I guess we won't see a real interspecies couple until Zootopia 7, when Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde finally say their I do's. <laughs> but back to Tarzan and Jane. You know what's really going to be bad about this family dynamic? Basically, as time goes on, things are going to change. As the English come to colonize basically the whole area, they're going to start hunting more gorillas. And then it's going to be like, these killers look like you, Tarzan, and they look like you, Jane, and here they are. They're basically slaughtering our kind. And guess what? Clayton wasn't the only one. He wasn't just one bad egg. They're all like this. They want to take over the land, hunt gorillas, send them to zoos, mount their heads on the wall, Gaston style. And guess who Kala and company are going to blame? They're going to blame Tarzan. Because if he just left with Jane and her dad, maybe the humans would never have come back. Tarzan would have gone to England, learned his English, worn clothes on a full-time basis, become a gentleman. The transition would have happened successfully. Instead, everyone's thinking, man, Kerchak was right. And no one would blame Tarzan if he secretly thought, yeah, you guys kind of deserve this. I mean, remember how you guys treated me when I was a kid? Remember when you were all, you're not gorilla enough for us? Well, guess what? You ain't human enough for me now, buddy. Maybe the gorillas need to learn this lesson. Because other than Kala, they were all pretty mean to Tarzan. He didn't really fit in. All the gorillas followed Kerchak's lead and treated Tarzan like a freak until Tarzan saved all of them and Kerchak died. Because then the gorillas didn't have a choice. Because Tarzan took over as the silverback. So even though they're gorillas, they're really sheep. And Archimedes Q. Porter, he's a very easygoing guy. But eventually, he's gonna open his eyes and realize that Jane's essentially married to a three-year-old. Tarzan doesn't really have the intellect. He never went to school, he never learned the things we learned, he has no social skills. Like, yeah, he's an animal, he has acrobatic powers and things like that. He knows how to pick fleas from fur, but how is he gonna provide for the family? Is Jane just gonna eat bananas her whole life? She would if she were a monkey, but because they're apes, she wouldn't even get that. The situation is even worse than Archimedes fears, if he fears at all. Maybe Jane fell for Tarzan because she's like, yeah, he's hot. He's a strong, silent type. But later on, she's like, well, we don't have much to talk about. Because even after Tarzan learns to string together whole sentences, he never has much to say. And Jane's a naturalist like her dad. So she's going to need a man with a postdoc from Oxford at the very least. I don't know how Tarzan feels about higher education, though, since he's more of a jock. At least Tarzan is able to romance Jane on an as-needed basis. He got her flowers, he suited up, he's already miles ahead of most guys, especially in terms of attention to detail. But the whole opposites attract thing is going to lead to a bunch of problems, because Jane's not as toned or as fit as Tarzan. Right now, Tarzan's kind of hand-holding. He's moving slower so she can keep up. But what's going to happen when Jane's like, Tarzan, look, can we stop swinging for five minutes? Can we just sit down and have a nice romantic picnic? And Tarzan's going to be like, what, are you kidding me? That was my warm-up. And then Jane's going to be like, well, maybe I don't want to skateboard on the trees. And what's going to happen when Tarzan and Jane have kids? Because Jane will be teaching the kids their ABCs, and then Tarzan's going to feel left out. Because he's learning at the same time as the kid is. And then eventually the kid might surpass him. So he's going to feel inadequate. This reminds me of that Sean Penn movie. I am Sam. Yeah. It's going to be tragic. Suppose they go to England to meet Jane's extended family. And then Tarzan's going to embarrass his kids and his wife. Like at the dinner table when he doesn't have manners. I mean, no one's going to want to say it. But everyone's going to be embarrassed by his lack of manners. Victorian England was super, super strict. And then there's the fact that he's walking around practically buck naked. I mean, it's going to be really, really shocking. That concludes Disney Meet the Parents, Tarzan and Jane. Thanks for hanging with the Animoguls. <laughs>